Hey, what's up you guys? Well, DJ Jacob here to bring you a video discussion regarding the events that transpired in the episode Thank You of Season 6 of The Walking Dead. And uh, mainly, is he or isn't he? You know, major spoiler warning, but I'm sure most of you guys have probably heard about it already. But spoilers in the title and spoilers right here, so if you don't want to hear any more about whatever this is, do not keep watching. But, uh, yeah, like I said, the picture probably gives away what I'm going to be talking about, but, uh, and the title, really. But, really, by now, you've probably heard about it, even if you didn't want to. <laughs> but, yeah, your choice to keep watching from here. Don't. One, two, three. Done. Okay. You know, so, this episode aired when I was in Arkansas visiting my, visiting my brother. We watched it together. We had a little mini viewing party with, you know, me, him, my dad, and my brother's girlfriend. Um, so it was kind of fun watching it with, you know, more than one other person, you know, so I made for, a, you know, a good experience, I think, watching the show like that. And, uh, you know, I myself heard a uh, spoiler about, you know, this possibility happening, but it was, wasn't completely confirmed. It wasn't a completely confirmed spoiler at that point, but I was aware that, you know, that could be coming up, and when I seen that they were running, you know, when uh, Glenn and Nicholas were running around together, I was kind of getting worried about it, and then when I seen them get to the dumpster, I was like, oh god, it's actually gonna happen. And, uh, you know, it definitely still shocked me and surprised me. Very intense, the whole scene, and, you know, just as Nicholas was developing, you know, he was actually trying to be a better person, he was actually trying to help Glenn all he could to, in some way, make up for what he tried to do, basically kill him. <laughs> And, uh, you know, of course, he got Noah killed, too, and stuff. And, uh, you know, people have been talking about this ever since that episode aired. Is he or isn't he? Is Glenn dead, or is he alive? Because we see, of course, obviously, Nicholas is dead. He shoots himself in the head, and, you know, his body falls on top of Glenn, causing them both to fall into this uh, horde of walkers that are surrounding the dumpster. And then it appears that Glenn's being torn apart, you know, his intestines being ripped out and stuff like that, which is a very, very cruel death for such a good oriented character. You know, it's like seeing the best possible person get still get the worst outcome for, for themselves, no matter how, how much good they try to do for others. Um, that's just, that's the way the world works sometimes in the show, and also the way it goes sometimes in real life too, unfortunately. Um, now, overall, uh, just in general, do I think Glenn's dead or do I think he's still alive? I think it could go either way, but uh, I think he actually may still be alive, I think. <laughs> um, okay, well, realistically, he would be dead. Um, because, of course, the main theory that brings up the possibility that he could still be alive is the fact that Nicholas's body fell on top of him, and thus it's uh, Nick being Nicholas being torn apart and not Glenn. But even if that is the case, you've seen how many walkers are surrounding them. There are walkers on the other side of the fence, there are walkers, you know, coming from that way, and then there are still more coming down that alley. So I don't really see how he could have gotten out of it. You know, people are saying he could have slid under the dumpster and hid it until they uh, just left or, you know, got attracted to something else or something. Yeah, but is that dumpster really going to be high enough, coincidentally? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> and then some people are also theorizing that, uh, you know, maybe because he gets covered in Nick's blood, you know, it sort of, like, masks him. You know, like the guts trick that has been used in The Walking Dead in the past. But really, that doesn't totally make sense either, because uh, when Rick and Glenn did it back in Season 1, it was, you know, they used the, the blood and guts of, like, a, you know, a fair amount of time dead walker, you know, so the blood wasn't really fresh anymore. But with Glenn, in Glenn's case, it's very, very fresh as it can be. Uh, so I don't really see how they would uh, think that he's one of them because they'd still smell the fresh blood. And yeah. I don't think that would really work either. Some people also bring up the fact, or not the fact, but the idea that a new character that should be introduced soon named uh, Jesus may show up and save him. But, you know, that's somewhat of a possibility because I have a feeling we're going to be meeting that character soon anyway with the whole Morgan flashback. I think that's kind of tied together. Um, we should probably find out on tonight's flashback episode, by the way. But, uh, you know, it's possible. But again, there are just so many walkers. I don't know what one guy could do just coming in and mowing them down like that. I don't know. Um, but I did say I do think he's still alive, but it's not because of any of those weird theories that make me really believe in him because realistically none of those would probably work or happen <laughs> um 
but because uh, you know I follow The Walking Dead closely, I'm, I have like a lot of fan pages on Facebook and stuff like that. And spoil, spoiling the dead, um, you know, they have posted pictures of uh, you know Stephen, you know, the actor still on set, um, you know, far into filming, which is you know far past the point of the thank you episode. So he's still around to film apparently, unless he's just sitting there and watching the whole thing still being you know played out. On scenes and stuff, but really he's been spot on set in the uh, later part of the season that they're filming. So you know, some people say it could be flashbacks, but really he looks like he's still all dressed up, and yeah, so Glenn may have gotten out of this somehow. But yeah, so I do think he's alive mainly because of the set photo reason there. Um, but how do I feel about it in general? You know, I like Glenn. He's uh, you know probably within my top five, top ten favorite characters of the show. You know, so of course I'd still like him to be alive. You know, he's a very, probably the best person that's left on the show, you know, at least morally and stuff like that. Uh, you know, so he's definitely a likable character. He's still kind of funny sometimes. He hasn't really been too much lately, but, you know, so, you know, I'm definitely attached to him. Sure, I would like him to still be around. But, you know, of course The Walking Dead's not completely realistic. It's, you know, it's about zombies, and, you know, walkers and stuff like that. But I still think The Walking Dead, you know, it takes their world very seriously or so very realistic to what their world is and what it does and what it can do to people and what happens to people so i feel like if glenn somehow makes out of this for whatever the reason um it may actually hurt her a bit because it kind of messes with some of the realism the show does have but on the other hand i would like to still see him around uh you know maybe i'll meet lucille i don't know they may make it, they may make us think they're going to use a different character for that and just you know have it happen to him anyway but uh yeah so i think he's alive because of the set photo thing but, you know, of course, I can't be entirely sure. I don't work on the show or anything. But let me know what you guys think. And, of course, I'll definitely be doing my weekly review of The Walking Dead tonight, which is supposed to be a Morgan flashback episode. So I don't know if we're going to get any answers on Glenn tonight. It is supposed to be 90 minutes, though, so maybe they could fit something in. I'm not sure. But we'll probably find out within the next couple episodes for sure, no question. So look forward to my weekly review, as always, tonight. And, uh, you know, of course, this is also me making up for the fact that I didn't do a weekly review while I was in Arkansas. And I also plan on releasing a tribute to probably my favorite actress of all time, Catherine Isabel, tomorrow for her birthday. So be on look out, look out for that too. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Look for me on ugh, add me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, Movie Pilot, look for me on Catch you guys next time and uh, peace.